If you have a built-in eyesight or if you have an external eyesight, you can capture live with it. Simply open up the capture window. If your option is not selected automatically here for the eyesight, simply pull down and choose the eyesight or built-in eyesight. And up comes the screen. Now the capturing process is very much the same as you would do with any other camera. The main difference is that, as you can see here, there is no transport control. So we cannot fast forward, basically because it's live. For the capturing process, simply click on the Capture button. Up comes the dialog box where you can choose where to save. I'm going to create a new event. I'm going to call it Podcast. I'm not going to analyze anything because this thing is on a tripod, so or it's on the desktop, so it's not going to shake. And I'm just going to click on the Capture button. As soon as you click on the Capture button, put on your best face because you are on camera. A few pointers if you're making a podcast. One of the things that you want to try to do is to be as well lit as possible. In this case, the eyesight that I'm using has a built-in light. That, that's why you're getting this sort of blue tint. Um, and as you can see here, there's a shadow coming on this right-hand side. And that's because I've got a light uh, also shining at my face. And as you can see, the room is fairly lit. Another thing that I'm going to recommend you do is, for the most part, look at the camera and not at yourself. When you're looking at yourself, it doesn't look like you're speaking to your audience. Now, if you want to be kind of like an interview setup, sort of look at this as if you're looking at the interviewer. Now, that's stretching it. Another thing that you want to do is watch out for the location of your eyes. You want to keep it on the top third of the screen. In this case, I'm making an effort to stretch my neck. But most of the times, people, what they do is they put it in the center of the screen, and it kind of looks like this. Much better if you're taking the top of your head all the way to the top of the screen. So there you go. There you have some pointers for your podcast. Uh, as much as possible, enjoy when you're doing your podcasting, and hopefully you'll get a lot of audience. Once you're done, clicking on the Stop button, We'll close, or rather, we'll create the thumbnails. And we're going to see a new event being created. There we go, podcast. And iMovie is ready for you to keep on recording, should you need to do another clip or another take. In this case, I'm done. And to tell you the truth, I really hate seeing myself on the screen. Oh, one more thing before I go. Try to use a really good microphone. If you don't have a really good microphone, the built-in microphones on the Macintosh, for the most part, are okay. But things that you definitely want to avoid is having cheap microphones or really lousy microphones that can pick up any noise. So that's it for me. I'll see you later. Done.